Hey, Michael. How are you? Okay, perfect. If we were to do a project together, how do we, as a group, go and get one of these projects? Can we purchase with a corporation? Mm -hmm. Yep, corporation, LLC. Um, I would say probably, you know, nine tenths of the people that we deal with, the investors that we deal with, are going straight into an LLC. Okay, so I'm just uh, uh, just thinking about how the the, the lending works for that part. Mm -hmm. Um, they're going to take your, you know, it's going to be a lot kind of like a traditional bank loan. Um, you know, they're going to look at your overall liquidity, um, assets, so on and so forth. Okay. Uh, at Which the end of the day, you know, at the end of the day, if it's, you know, a couple of you guys, um, I believe if, if I remember correctly, they're going to run everyone. And if one person qualifies and one doesn't, well, you just use the one that qualifies. Oh, so then one person will ultimately be on the loan? Uh, no, you can still run it in as an LLC. At the end of the day, it's cash or hard money. So no bank loan. Um, property of the house is going to make it difficult for a bank to loan on it. It's not going to appraise. And at the end of the day, we do turn these around in about seven to 10 days. Okay. So closing time from you going in to closing is generally going to be seven to 10 days. So there's okay. no way a bank in the world is going to be able to turn that out that quick. Got it. How often do you guys come up with new deals? Uh, right now we're doing about 10 to 12 and even getting up to 15 a month right now. 10 to 15 a month. Okay. Yeah. In Vegas only? In Vegas. My broker and associate broker both came from Phoenix. They were doing about 20 to 25 a month down there. Mm -hmm. um, and that's, you know, I feel like that's, that's a good number for, yeah. for there. So, and that's kind of where we, we want to get to. It's, I've been looking in this market for the last three months. Um, eight months ago, it was okay. You know, like I would say, you know, obviously right before COVID and then kind of during COVID, a little bit after COVID as well. But then lately, the market has been a lot hotter because people are not as afraid. They're not as uncertain what's going on. A lot of people moving out of California to you know, Nevada, whatever. So I'm noticing a lack of inventory that makes sense for an investor. So I'm just concerned that when I see wholesale deal, they're not wholesale deals, they're MLS deals. So are you guys priced? At, at a at a uh, favorable pricing for an investor to want to jump in on. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And like I said earlier, if 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 it's something that we look at and we're like, there's no way this makes sense for us, we know it's not going to make sense for one of our investors. Okay. You got any deals right now? Uh, we actually don't. Mm. So right. I'm hoping next week we're going to have a couple coming out. I know I know some people are hot on the trail on a, on a handful. Mm -hmm. So, you know, there's, there's going to be weeks where, um, last week we had one deal come out and, uh, from, mm -hmm. um, week before that was a little bit slower week before that. I think we had six come out within span of like three days. Okay. Um, so there's no rhyme or reason to when we, when we put them out, when, when they come in, but when they do, they, they go quick. So what was the forbearance uh, situation affecting you guys? Um, you know, we, we kind of work with, with the people who are selling it. Um, you know, I mean, if, if people are, you're, you're speaking to the mortgage part of it, correct? Yeah. You know, I, if, if it comes along, we, we had one that, uh, last week where we didn't realize how underwater these people were in their mortgage. So we were getting ready to to get it going. And all of a sudden we found out that the number that we were giving them wasn't covering the mortgage itself. So mm -hmm. at that point we're backing out, um, that, that down payment is fully re is, is non-refundable unless we can't, uh, provide you with clean title on the property. Okay. So we get down to the last day and they're like, Oh wait, there's a $400,000 lien on the house for some godforsaken reason. Well, at that point we'll rip up the contract down payment back to you. And we'll move on to the next one. How do you forecast the Las Vegas, well, the Nevada and Las Vegas market in particular for the next year, two years? Um, I mean, with California the way it is, I mean, I don't, I don't think it's anywhere but up. Hmm. You know, I think it's, I think it's going to continually grow and get bigger and better. And you know, I, the once the lift comes of uh, for renters. You know, I think that's going to be an opportunity for us to um, scoop up probably even more properties or so okay. we hope.
that's what I was thinking is um, because the mor- moratorium has been lifted, then extended. Yeah. Um, don't know when they're going to officially release exactly. it. March 31st, right? But then I believe it's the end of the month now. End of the month, right? Yep. And when that time comes, they lift it, uh, they, they extend it again. And yep. I, um, and on top of that, right now with the uh, interest rates too, I'm not sure if there's any um, talks of like them raising interest rates uh, slowly in the future, which would affect the real estate market as well. How would you see that affecting the Vegas market? Um, you know, I think as, especially with the investors uh, being cash and hard money, um, I don't think that's going to change our investor market. Um, if, if it's, I, I feel like right now, if it's anything above 500,000, it's people coming from California, um, coming from Northern Nevada down here and paying cash anyways. Yeah. Uh, I think that lower, that lower number, probably that 150 to three, 350 number um, might get a little different with the, you know, FHA conventional loan market. But I think, at, you know, at the end of the day, we're, we're a proven commodity. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, through the ups and downs, I think we're going to be, our business is going to be steady. And, uh, you know, if interest rates go up, well, you know, that's cutting out those conventional buyers using bank loans. So that makes it easier for our investors, makes it easier for us to purchase homes. Okay. uh, Which in turn makes it easier for you guys to get product. You know, I think it's all kind of a crapshoot until it actually happens. Um, but I think, you know, I think at the end of the day, like I said, we're, we're a proven commodity. We've been here. We've been in, we're in a lot of markets. Uh, we just kind of keep churning them through. And when, uh, when the bad times come, I, you know, I think we just kind of roll right through it. And, um, you know, I mean, if, if you, if you've got, if you got properties and you're able to, um, you know, do buy and holds, especially like, you know, you can, you can sit on those until it comes back or, you know, if the, if the market dips and then the market, it's always going to come back. Um, yeah. Then you can take advantage of it down the road. Then, so I think that's pretty much all the questions I got until we actually see some projects okay. analyzed. Right. And- yeah, yeah, absolutely. All right, thanks, Mike. Yeah, it. absolutely. Enjoy right. the rest of your day. All right, bye. Bye.